Well, welcome back to another episode of Continuum Meditations Discusses. In this video, we won't tarry long. I just wanted to put up some opening thoughts on Seth MacFarlane's new show, The Orville, that premiered tonight. This will be a spoiler-free, kind of off-the-cuff initial impressions thing. Nothing long, nothing in-depth. Well, folks, tonight Seth MacFarlane definitely proved that he is a Trekkie, someone who understands what Star Trek is all about and the optimism that it represents. The Orville, without question, takes a lot of its cues from Star Trek, obviously, and it uh, has uh, taken no pains to hide that fact, and obviously a lot, a lot of those cues come from Star Trek The Next Generation. Now, I know many of you were looking forward to this program, as was I, and I will say uh, that I was not disappointed. In this era of dystopic science fiction, the Orville is like a breath of fresh air, at least it is to me, and perhaps even for some, a callback to a previous time when those of us who remember The Next Generation watched it uh, and watched its optimism and its enthusiasm for the future and shared in that enthusiasm. And Perhaps with a bit of an unrealistic abandon, perhaps with a slightly idealistic tint of rose-colored glasses, but we shared in it nonetheless, and it inspired many of us deeply. I certainly remember those halcyon days of TNG as a time when I personally looked forward to the future and dreamed of building a world of better human beings who, like myself, were dedicated to the upward reach of mankind. And, uh, you know what? It looks like the Orville intends to carry on in that vein, unashamedly. Now, uh, as many of you know, Fox advertised the Orville as a comedy, a sort of, uh, how would you say, a galaxy quest, space balls take off where we'd get exposed to plenty of non-stop laughs. Well, after watching the premiere, I'm happy to say that it didn't try to do that. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Spaceballs and I love Galaxy Quest, but I am really glad to see that the Orville isn't just going to be a bunch of goofy, wacky people in space suits. It is, apparently, going to try and really deal with the human condition in a very thoughtful and meaningful way, as was demonstrated by its opening scene tonight. But it's gonna throw in a goodly amount of humor. Uh, to add some levity to all of that seriousness, I guess you could say. And that, to me, is a, is a positive thing. Of course, there are those who have already compared the Orville with the upcoming Star Trek Discovery show, and who are quite forthrightly hoping it will be the saving grace for genuine Star Trek-style science fiction. Some have, in fact, already said that with the Orville, true Star Trek is back on the airwaves. Well, my reply to that is this. We'll see. Though I will certainly concur with most of you in saying that uh, through the Orville, we have been given an incarnation of Star Trek that has the potential to become something we can all be proud of over time. I am personally hoping that Orville will come to stand on its own as it continues to forge its own unique path. And if it is a success, I'm hoping fans will keep watching it without even having to regard Star Trek Discovery at all as either a companion or competitor serial. Simultaneously, though, I do want to see the Orville continue to represent the Star Trek spirit on which it is modeled. So, yes, this was a very nice first offering by the Orville. I think most people will say that Seth MacFarlane did us proud tonight and that he is capable, very capable, of being a good steward of the Star Trek legacy. I am going to personally keep watching the show for a few more episodes on, see where it goes, and let's see how it goes. So, until next time, Star Trek fans. I'm